we are going to use now the theorem we saw in the previous video. We call it the fundamental theorem of cyclic groups. Every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. So if G is a cyclic group, means there is an element A that generates G. If G is cyclic, and if H is a subgroup of G, it means that H is also generated by a certain element. So H, the subgroup, is cyclic. Now, if the order of A, if the order of this group is N, then the order of the subgroup, the order, I should put here uh, order, right? Uh, not, not with this ones, okay? Uh, so, if the order of A is N, the order of any subgroup of A is a divisor of N. So, the order of H subgroup will be N divided by some K. And for each divisor K of N, for each divisor K of N, the group generated by A has exactly one subgroup of order k. Okay, so there will be a h1 of order k, and this one, a sub subgroup of, of this group, and this one will be generated, so h1 will be generated by a to the power of n dividing k. Okay, uh, this being true, what about a cyclic group of order, let us say the order of the cyclic group is 30. Um, we know that every single subgroup of this group will be in the form um, a to the power of m, right? Where m is going to divide 30. Okay? And, using this theorem, if you want a subgroup of order uh, k, this subgroup h1, that I call h1, will be generated by A to the power of N dividing K. Okay? Okay, so let us say we have a group generated by A. So that will be the identity A to the power of 1, A to the power of 2, um, etc. A to the power of 29, right? So, the order of this group will be um, 30, right? Okay, now we will have another group generated by A to the power of 2. Uh, 2 divides 30, right? 2 divides 30. You get 15, right? Okay, so this will be the group generated by a squared, so it will be the identity a squared, a4. This will finish in a28, because a29 will not be there anymore. Okay, so the order of this will be 15. So n, um, so in our case n is 30, in this case 
um, no, we had we took we took the divisor right two. So the order is fifteen, right? Now a to the power of thus three. Um, let me see. Uh, 3 divide 30, right? Right, okay. So, so th uh, 30 dividing 3 is 10. So we are going to get here, here, order power of 3, uh, 10. Right, so this will be the identity, a cubed, a6 and this will end in A27 right 29 28 27 not hard okay so 30 dividing 3 uh, is 10 so this is the group generated by A to the power of 3 a group of order 10 what about um, well, four. Four does not divide thirty, right? No. So we move to five. Okay. Five. Identity a to the power of five. And now a to the power of twenty-five. Okay. Order of a to the power of 5 is going to be 30 dividing by 5 we get 6 so the order here is 6 and we have 6 here okay a to the power of 6 right yes so now 6 divide 30 so a to the power of 6 30 dividing 6 divides 30 so this will be 5 5 times 6 is 30 right so this will be the identity a to the power of 6 a to the power of 12 18 24 done 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so a to the power of 6 um, will be identity a to the power of 6, a to the power of 12, etc. So 30 dividing 6, 5 times 6, 30. So this will be 5. a to the power of 10. Order 3 generated by 10 by 8 to the power of 10, um, 30 dividing 10, you get 3, uh, 8 to the power of 15, only two elements, order 2, and 8 to the power of 30, that will be the identity, a group of order 1. So with the order of the group, being 30, you have here all the subgroups. Okay. A corollary of the previous theorem is this one about the subgroups of Zn. For each divisor k of n, each for the divide the k divisors of this n, the set n dividing k is the unique subgroup of Z n of order k. Moreover, these are the only subgroups of Z n. Okay, so we can do the same as we did to the previous uh, group where we said that a n order 30. So this, this 30 
has order 30 right so it's the same but here is the okay it's this the 30 okay um, this group is a subgroup of the, the this z30 right for each divisor k of n the set and dividing k so this is uh, divided by one okay and this will be um, 0 1 2 etc till you get to 29 and the order of 1 will be 30 dividing 1 is 30 what about the subgroup generated by 2 that will be 0 2 4 etc till 28 right the order of this subgroup will be 30 dividing 2 it will be 15 okay so we are going to get here the list of subgroups of z uh, 30 okay so subgroup generated by 1 order 30 subgroup generated by 2 order 15 30 dividing 2 you get 15 order 3 so th all this will be the list um, of subgroups of this C30 uh, okay so it will be 1 2 generated by 3 generated by 5 generated by 6 by 10 by 15 by 30 and here you have the orders okay so the subgroups of Zn for each divisor k of n these numbers are divisors these are our case, right? They are dividing n. This is our n. The set n dividing k is the unique subgroup of Zn of order k. For instance, if k is 1, n is 30, so 30 divides 1. So this is the subgroup of 30 dividing 1, 30 dividing 1, and the order will be k, and here you are, the order is 1. Here, 30, n is 30, 30 dividing 2, you get 15. So this is the group generated by 15 that is n dividing k k is 2 and this will be the only subgroup of order k is 2 of order 2 and this is a subgroup of order 2 I'm just going to leave here this theorem I'm not going to prove it or talk about it um, theorem number of elements of each order in a cyclic group if d is a divisor of n the number of elements of order d in a cyclic group of order n is the function phi of d this is a very important function in number theory and with a lot of applications and i will i will talk about this in other videos okay so the relationship between the, the various subgroups can be um, illustrated through um, a subgroup lattice of the group so this is a, a small diagram that includes all the subgroups of the group 
you see here one the subgroup generated by two by three by five all those uh, subgroups right one two three And this lattice connects a subgroup H at one level to a subgroup K at a higher level with a sequence of line segments, okay? So let us pick one example, for instance, this um, the, um, the group generated by two is a subgroup. This is for for Z30, right? So the subgroup generated by two is a subgroup of Z30. Uh, okay, but this one, the group generated by ten. The subgroup generated by 10 is a subgroup of the subgroup generated by 2. Okay, so all the subgroups are here and they connect subgroup H at one level to a subgroup K at a higher level. Okay, through this line segments okay well this is only if h is a proper subgroup of k okay they have to be proper subgroups i could do any other uh, drawing okay but the connection should be the same um we will see in future videos that this cyclic groups we have been seeing will be they are related to abelian groups and this will be very important.